today generally presented its financial results for the first half of 2022. Even in a very challenging scenario, characterized by the war in Ukraine and its dramatic human consequences, rising inflation, higher interest rates and recession concerns, our group was able to further confirm its strength, solidity and resilience. I would now like to underline four key highlights that emerged during the first six months of this year. First, our gross return premiums grew to 41.9 billion euro, a 2.4% increase compared to the first half of 2021. In particular, property and casualty premiums posted strong growth of 8.5%. Let me highlight that non-motor premiums, a key focus of our lifetime partner 24 strategy, grew by 10.7%. Our life net inflows were resilient at 6.2 billion euro, in line with the strategic portfolio repositioning towards protection, up by 7%, and unit linked, which grew by 2.1%. This reflects the effectiveness of our distribution network and targeted enforced management activities. Second, our operating results rose to over 3.1 billion euro, up by 4.8%, from the first six months of 2021, thanks to the widespread underlying positive performance of all our business lines. The life new business margin grew to an impressive 5.23%, while the combined ratio at 92.5% was solid as well. Third, our net result stood at 1.4 billion euro. Without the impairments related to Russian investments, we would have posted a net result of 1.54 billion euro. And finally, we confirmed our solid capital position with the solvency ratio at 233% compared to 227% at year-end 2021, remaining among the best in the industry, underlining the resilience of our business. Let me highlight that the 233% solvency ratio already reflects the impact of the announced share buyback program that has been also approved by our regulator. Looking forward, we will continue to focus on the successful execution of our strategic plan Lifetime Partner 24 driving growth to achieve all targets and make generally an even stronger and more sustainable global insurance and asset management group. And in conclusion, let me remind you of the virtual investor update that will be held on December 13. Thank you very much.